How's it going guys, Jace here back with another modern deck tech. Today I'm back with Eldrazi Red. This is Eldrazi Tron, aggro, get in there, deal the damage. Obviously we're using the power of Ugin's Labyrinth to power out Eldrazi very quick. You know we've got a different version of Tron, which can try and go a lot bigger. We're going low to the ground, get the game over as quick as possible. Using things like Reality Smasher, Thought Not Seer to disrupt the opponent, and the Line Breaker. The Eldrazi Line Breaker is insanely powerful, right? It's 3-drop, three 3-3, three, three, Trample. You give a creature haste and plus X plus zero, where X is the number of Eldrazi you control. And you get in there, you do an absolute ton of damage. Eldrazi Mimic is very good as well. It the Heralds again, buffs all of our creatures, makes our seven drop stuff even cheaper, which is amazing because we have a bunch of seven drops as well. Kozak's Command with that interaction, Dismember to deal with creatures. This deck kind of does it all. I really do like it. In the sideboard, we do have Destructor Flute against combo decks, Dampened Sphere against the bigger Tron decks. We have Gemstone Caverns if we're on the draw. We also then got the Battle Mage, which is good against Artifacts and Enchantments. Uh, all is Dust, which is good against like creature decks and things I like to clog up the board. And then Chalice of the Void if we're playing against Combo, Burn, or uh, anything like that, which is very, very good. So if you do want to give this deck a try, guys, the deck list will be in the description below. We're going to play a best of three modern game. Let's get it. Opening hand. Uh, oh, I like this one. This is a really good one. I'm on the play, right? Yeah, on the play. This is a really, really good hand. What good... Got a good turn one, turn two, turn three, play. Not bad. You know, turn one and here was the end. Turn two, flesh raker. Turn three. Depends on playing against, obviously. But maybe I just want to get in there with a the line breaker, maybe. Just maybe. This is a really good hand. Of course, if they got a turn one, grief bounce, liquor. Then it's going to be really hard for me to deal with. I think I uh, might have spoke it in. Please just be a thought seize. Brilliant. Even better for me. Even better. Okay, I'm just going to play the line breaker. Oh, Rosie. Let's play the line breaker. Target itself. This is just such a good turn two play. Turn two, swing for eight. Bang, they're on nine already. I mean, literally, they're dead next turn. <laughs> That's how crazy it is. There we go. Just play that line breaker. Get in there. Uh, I, I don't even know what I'm playing against. Right? My opponent went land and double preordain. I genuinely don't know what I'm up against. I think I'm against like Death Shadow or that style of deck. So for me, I think uh, Chalice of the Void is going to be super strong in this matchup. Um, oh, I'm on the draw, so Mimic's kind of bad. Everything else I think is fine. Yeah. All right. Opening hand. Uh, yeah, this is a really good hand. The game one went insanely quick. So preordain. Yeah, game one was insanely fast. All right. I think here. How's that? Um. Let's go to Temple. Same as before. Alright, so next time we go Temple, play the Flesh Raker. Okay, maybe they're not Death Shadow. Psychic Frog. It's the Frog. That's fine. Not too bothered about the Psychic Frog at the moment. Oh boy. Oh dear. We'll play this guy. And pass. We got subtlety it. 
Do I care about it? Not really. You'll go to the bottom. You can go to the bottom. Don't really care. Break the ice. It's not very nice. Alright. So here I might have to go Ugin's Labyrinth. Um, he wants to get it flying, sure, to draw a card, that's fine. That's kind of rude. Maybe I'll go Ugin's Labyrinth, Null Drifter. Um, Kozik's Command the Frog. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Okay, uh, exile a creature and I'll make some spawn. I'll make spawn, I'll exile this. One, two, three, four. We're done. Sure. Okay. And then I can swing him. Alright, so I've got a little bit of protection now with the spawn. I need to slam this reality smasher through with the cavern of souls to make sure it's uncounterable. Which is pretty good. All is dust. It's kind of rough. One, two, three, four, five. Make it uncounterable. Crunch. Swing with the team. Boom. My spawn are getting in there. Bang. Pones on eight. Absolute savage. Alright. Hey, you had to break the ice. You had the tech. Was that tech enough? That is the question. Was it enough for Reality Smasher? No. There you go, we managed to take down, I would assume it was blue-black control. I thought it was like Death Shadow to begin with, but game one, we were just so fast out of the gate, they just couldn't deal with it. And in game two, they had the tech, they had the uh, Break the Ice, but unfortunately, Reality Smasher, we're low to the ground, so Break the Ice isn't that game-breaking against us, because we just have such cheap stuff, that we're able to just run away and just kill them with creatures, and that's basically what happened in that second game. So if you do want to get the deck a try, the deck list will be in the description below. If you made fun of the video and you've enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more magic content. That's it for me guys in today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.